Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics, 5th edition, Yes to Mushenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.7 and problem number 2.106. The ends of a heavy prismatic bar AB are supported by a circular ring in a vertical plane as shown in figure E. If the length of the bar is such that it subtends an angle of 90 degrees in the ring, and the angles of friction at A and B are each 5. What is the greatest angle of inclination theta that the bar can make with the horizontal in a condition of equilibrium? That means a prismatic bar AB is placed in a circular ring. So the shape of this is a circle. Now our interest is to find the value theta in such a way that the prismatic bar AB is in equilibrium position. For that, the given data is like this. Given that angle AOB is 90 degrees, here, here I can find it is 90 degrees. And given that AO is equal to BO, that means this length is equal to this length. Hence, I can find this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is also equal to 45 degrees. Angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 45 degrees, that means this angle is 45 and this angle is also equals to 45. Now, let us consider the various forces acting on the prismatic bar. The prismatic bar AB is supported in a circular ring at A. Hence, there is a reaction at A perpendicular at this point. Let that reaction is RA. Similarly, there is a reaction by the circular ring on the prismatic bar and it acts perpendicular to this direction. So let this angle is RB. Let this force is RB. Now there is a friction force given that there is an angle of friction. That means there is a frictional force. Let us assume that there may be a possibility that A by virtue of this weight A will move downwards and B will move upwards. Hence, the frictional force at A, the frictional force acts perpendicular to RA and let that frictional force is FA. Similarly, at B, the frictional force is perpendicular to RB and let that frictional force is FB. Now, there are four forces in addition to the self-weight W. Let this point is C. Now, let us define our own X and Y axis. I will consider my x axis is along the bar AB and y axis is perpendicular to AB. So this uh, I can consider this one as my x axis and this is my y axis. Now clearly we can see the angle made by RA with the x axis is 45 degrees and angle made by RB with the x axis is also equals to 45 degrees. Also we know that FA and RA are perpendicular. FB and RB are the perpendicular. These are the important points that we need to uh, know before solving the problems. Since these two are perpendicular, obviously the angle made by FB with the x axis is also equal to 45 degrees. Similarly, the angle made by the y axis with uh, this one is also equal to 0 because these two angle between these two is also equal to 90 degrees. Similarly, angle between RA and FA is also uh, 90 degrees, hence uh, this angle is also equal to 45 degrees. Now let us transfer all these forces onto a separate XY plane. So I am drawing a line parallel to this X axis and I am drawing another line parallel to this Y axis and I am transferring all these forces. The, uh, force, uh, 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 the various forces are first you can say FA and RB, these two are parallel because both are making an angle 45 degrees. Okay, so these two are parallel. Similarly, the, the force RB, uh, uh, similarly the forces RA and FB. So RA is acting upwards, FB is acting downwards. And uh, you know the angles, so this angle is 45 degrees and R, uh, this RA and FB, both are also making an angle 45 degrees. And of course, this is a self-weight which makes an angle uh, theta with the vertical. So this is the final, uh, the force diagram. Now I am transferring all the, I am, I am resolving all the forces along x-axis and y-axis. Now first, when I am resolving RA, 
So RA horizontal component is RA cos 45, vertical component is RA sin 45. And similarly, RB, RB horizontal component and vertical component. Similarly, I can find this one FB, horizontal component and vertical components. And also W. So like that, I resolved all the forces along X axis and Y axis. Now I am considering my equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to 0. By considering sigma fx, uh, sigma fx is equal to 0, the forces acting along x axis are a cos 45 w sin theta. So I will consider this direction is my positive direction and this direction is positive y axis. So are a cos 45 plus w sin theta is equal to f a cos 45 plus r b cos 45 plus f b cos 45. So I can simplify this. And upon simplification, I will get one equation that is W sin theta into root 2 is equal to Ra into mu minus 1 plus Rb into mu plus 1. This is equation 1. Similarly, I will consider all the forces along y axis, sigma Fy is equal to 0. Then I can write the forces, upward forces. There are three upward forces, Ra sin 45, Fa sin 45, Rb cos 45 and two downward forces, W cos theta and fb sin 45 and i can simplify this and upon simplification i will get the second equation another equation that is w cos theta into root 2 is equal to ra into mu plus 1 plus rb into 1 minus mu now this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 let us go back to our uh, original diagram so this is the given diagram and we are assuming we, let us consider this point is c now take moments about c before taking the moments about C, these forces we need to resolve along x axis and y axis. So this force I can, x axis component is this one, y axis component is this one. So similarly, FA, FB, RB, all the forces we need to resolve along x axis and y axis. Now I will take moments about point C. Now clearly we can see RB, RB cos 45, RB cos 45 is passing through the point C. Rb sin 45 is the force and the perpendicular distance is equal to Cb. So Rb sin 45 into Cb. Similarly, mu into Rb, this, R, this, this horizontal component once again passing through the C, but the vertical component is like this. So mu Rb sin 45 into the perpendicular distance is Cb. Same is the case Ra. Ra I need to resolve. Ra horizontal component once again passing through the C. So that does not create any moment. Hence, the vertical component Ra sin 45 and the perpendicular distance is AC. And the same is the case with FA. FA is nothing but mu into Ra sin 45 into SC because FA is the frictional force and that value is equal to mu Ra and FB is also frictional force that value is equal to mu into Rb. Now, this I can simplify. So, upon simplification, uh, I will get like this because I know AC because C is the midpoint by virtue of its weight it is, it, it, it is the midpoint so AC is equal to BC and so all these values gets cancelled and even that sin 45 values are also gets cancelled so all 1 by root 2s are also gets cancelled and you will get to one equation that equation is equal to RA is equal to RB into 1 minus mu by 1 plus mu let us consider this is equation number 3 now let us consider equation 1 by equation 2. Equation 1 by equation 2. This is equation 1 by equation 2. So you will get W sin theta root 2 by W cos theta root 2 is equal to Ra into mu minus 1 plus Rb into mu plus 1 by Ra into mu plus 1 plus Rb into 1 minus mu. But just know we concluded Ra is equal to Rb into 1 minus mu. So you can substitute there. So, W, W cancel, root 2, root 2, root 2 cancel, you will get sin theta by tan theta is equal, sin theta by cos theta is equal to tan theta. And Ra value I am replacing with Rb into 1 minus mu by 1 plus mu. And Rb I am keeping as it is. And once again in the denominator also, I am replacing Ra is equal to Rb into 1 minus mu by 1 plus mu. And this I simplified further. So, all Rbs gets cancelled. 
and after simplification you will get a, a big equation like this so further you can simplify then you will get tan theta is equal to 2 mu by 1 minus mu square what is mu so mu is the coefficient of friction but given that phi is the friction angle so i can say mu is equal to tan phi so that I will substitute now tan theta is equal to 2 mu by 1 minus mu square. I will substitute mu is equal to tan phi. So tan theta is equal to 2 tan phi by 1 minus tan square phi which is nothing but tan 2 theta. So this is nothing but tan 2 phi. So tan theta is equal to tan 2 phi or the theta must be equals to 2 in is the answer for the given problem.